Previously on Jimmy Kimmel Live. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> From Hollywood, it's Jimmy Kimmel Live. Tonight, Tiffany Haddish, Jeff Ross, and music from Tate McGrath with Cleto and the Cletones. And now, Jimmy Kimmel! Pumpkin Day. Did you know it's uh, today, October 26th, is National Pumpkin Day? Why they couldn't wait five days and have it on Halloween? I have no. I don't know. Somebody at the Pumpkin Council is asleep at the wheel. But we invite you to celebrate at home. Go get yourself a pumpkin, scoop out its guts, and shove a candle up its butt. That's how they do it. <laughs> hey, um, speaking of old gourds, The Golden Bachelor is one step closer to choosing the woman he'll spend the rest of his week with. Next week. I have to say, I've been looking forward to what is going to happen next week. Ever since they announced they've been, they were doing the show, next week are the hometown visits, which usually means you meet the parents. But <laughs> in this case, the parents would have to be around 100 years old. We're on our way to hometowns. It's going to look a lot different. You better not hurt my glamour. It's very intimidating. <laughs> I just think that you should be the new papa. Are you going to marry me? I might. <laughs> or I might just give her a little baboom on the old Craftmatic adjustable bed and send her back here to babysit you. I don't know. It's a show. I predict, mark my words, Bachelor Gary's going to be dating a 37-year-old yoga instructor <laughs> he meets on Instagram by Christmas of this year. This is something that could influence the direction of the Bachelor franchise. According to a new study, from UCLA, teenagers want less sex in the movies and TV shows they want. They want fewer sex scenes and more stories about platonic friendships. I've never felt more out of touch with a generation. I, you know, I mean, I try not to be the old guy complaining about these kids today, but sometimes you feel like I have to. I mean, isn't this supposed to be the live and let live generation? I thought this was the whole point of you. Don't you know how hard we had it? Having to steal Playboys from our uncles and squinting <laughs> at hours and hours of scrambled porn on cable TV. <laughs> we earned these sex scenes. So here, I mean, listen, if you don't want to see them, don't watch them. Watch, go watch Planet Earth, watch your creepo ASMR videos or whatever the hell you watch. But for the love of God and Salma Hayek, stay the hell out of our naked stuff. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Donald Trump, who was president of this country, continues to test the limits of the various courts that are trying to put him away. In New York yesterday, MC Yammer was fined $10,000 for violating a gag order the judge issued in that case. And now the special counsel in D.C. in one of the other cases, Jack Smith, is asking to reinstate a gag order in that January 6th case. Neither court wants him posting his thoughts about court staff and witnesses online. So, of course... Trump rushed to Truth Social this morning to post about court staff and witnesses online. At 7.28 a.m., he wrote, the judge in the New York State AG case has gone crazy in his hatred of Trump. That's him, by the way. Also, <laughs> their star witness just admitted his statements were all a big lie. He broke down in court. Didn't happen. <laughs> the radical left judge said he doesn't care. He's trying to protect racist AG Letitia James. The state of New York must step in and stop this complete and total miscarriage of justice. You know, if you really want to shut Trump up, you don't, don't threaten him with jail time or fines. Threaten him with Eric time, okay? <laughs> Trust me. 
Put him in a room with Eric, he'll clam up like he's <laughs> at a brunch with Melania. <laughs> now, in Washington, the second biggest con man in the Republican Party, George Santos, may soon be out of a job. Four of his fellow Republican lawmakers from New York today introduced a resolution on the House floor to expel him from Congress. They can kick him out. The process goes, would go like this. Republicans and Democrats would vote on whether to remove him. The expulsion requires a two-thirds vote. If they get that, Santos would then be airlifted from Washington to Los Angeles, where he would immediately become a contestant on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> That's the law. But this could be it for George Santos. He made, a, he made an appearance this week on a podcast hosted by Meghan McCain and explained in detail why he looks so damn good. In January 2022, I weighed myself in at 350 pounds and I said, no, mm -hmm. this has to change. And then December of 2022, I weighed myself in before the new year rang in and I was 251 pounds. Oh, that's fantastic. 99 pounds. How did you year. do that? Diet exercise. I also was diagnosed as pre-diabetic and I had to go on a drug to lower my A1C. And a lot of folks- Is it Wozempic? Yes. It, it was. totally helped. And it's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure the Ozempic people love this too. It's uh, <laughs> like if Bill Cosby did an endorsement for NyQuil, you know? <laughs> this is interesting. Santos, George Santos, the reason he did Meghan McCain's podcast because he served with her father, Senator John McCain in Vietnam. He's the guy who freed McCain from the POW camp. <laughs> Taylor Swift has a new Taylor Swift album coming out tomorrow. She's releasing a cover version of her own album, 1989. It's not just the name of the album. It's also the number of times Taylor Swift can get people to buy the same album. <laughs> I mean, just when you think we've reached peak Taylor Swift, she drops an album from 10 years ago and we buy it again. The My Pillow Man, Mike Lindell, has been taking taking his uh, detached from reality show on the road. He has a 24-hour news channel run, but that doesn't stop Mike from going wherever he needs to go. Mike will join us in just one moment. There's Mike now, in fact. I was about to start plugging product, but there's Mike. Hey, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get this lined up. I'm on the road here. Uh, now, I think you're, I think most people are going to be shocked because we just, we just saw a dog next to you there. Right on, right on. <laughs> um, I, did, I didn't realize you had a service dog. Well, yeah, I got lots of things going on. <laughs> <laughs> you think he knows the dog is in the car? <laughs> the dog is there to help him drive. They take turns and... Uh... <laughs> but as loyal as that dog is, no one is more loyal to Mike Lindell than his sidekick slash best bud, Brannon. So many people around yeah. the country have followed you, Mike. You're a strong leader. You don't back down. You don't give up. People are attracted naturally, I think, to strong leaders, particularly strong masculine leaders, both men and women are attracted to that. I think that's how God made us, is to follow strong, convicted, masculine leaders. Right. They're attracted to strong, masculine leaders with monogrammed pocket squares right up front of their... That B stands for badass, by the way. <laughs> we are now less than a week from Halloween. This is the time of year, I don't know about you, but usually it's the time of year when my kid decides after we bought the costume that he wants a different costume. Guillermo, what's your son going? Uh, it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur? Those inflatable dinosaurs. Oh, he's got one of those, is it a big T-Rex deal? Yes, yes. Yeah, and it's got a fan in it? Uh, yes, everything. You think he's going to wear it the whole time or he'll ditch it like half an hour in? No, half an hour he will say, I don't want it no more. <laughs> According to Google, you know what the top costumes are this year? Three top costumes. Guess number one. Uh, What's number one? Uh, I don't know. I don't have no idea. Barbie's number one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> number two, uh, Taylor Swift. Taylor, no, a princess is number two. Okay. And Spider Man is number three. Oh, wow. But my favorite costumes are the not, the costumes like um, this uh, purple artist, which is, <laughs> you know, obviously Prince, or the, uh, this is Bad Apple Cutie. <laughs> so you don't get sued by Disney. and Or you could go as not Harry Potter, but fantastic magician boy. <laughs> this year's Spirit Halloween came out with a bunch of new, uh, like, kind of knockoff costumes. And if you're still looking for something, if, there's, if you need a costume this year, here are some that might work for you. This is Pop Star's boyfriend, obviously. <laughs> Travis Kelsey. 
a bankrupt pillow lunatic. Here's, uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, gymnasium race war goblin. And, oh, gelatinous beehole worm. Uh, and then we have, what do we have down here? Oh, look at this. Bus station mop bucket. <laughs> Musical theater hand job vapor. <laughs> Indicted fatso with stupid kids. <laughs> oh, look at that, lovable security drunk. <laughs> we have a special guest on our show tonight. Our old pal Jeff Ross is here. Jeff has a new... One man show, it's called Take a Banana for the Ride. Jeff is well known for his roasting, his off the cuff assessments of others. And to celebrate Halloween, we sent him to a pumpkin patch not far from here to do what he does best roast kids who showed up in costume. <laughs> hey, it's Jeff Ross. I'm here at Mr. Bones Pumpkin Patch. How you doing? Good, how are you? I love your Karen costume. <laughs> oh, it's America's mayor, Rudolph Giuliani. I want to date your mom. <laughs> Come on, that's good, right? I love your costume. Kid, don't ever listen to NWA. They wrote a whole song about you. I guess I'm under a roast. Wow, the Ozempic's really working for me. All right, who wants to get speed roasted? Look at this, Barbie and Oppenheimer. Great weekend at the box office. Johnny Depp, how you doing? Don't let Amber Heard poop in your bed. Pikachu, put some pants on, I can see your Pokemon. So you're a pineapple, and you're a kid that's about to get hoof and mouth disease. No, what? Sorry, my jokes are bad. Whoa, where are my witches at? You guys look great. Which one of you is supposed to be Marjorie Taylor Greene? Whoa, I'm scared. It's discount Darth Vader. I'm kind of Ren. All right, we get it. I can't even see your face. Ah! <laughs> you scared me. Woo. Oh. <laughs> Do you also cut your hair with a lightsaber? No. Hi there, how you doing? Whoa, I always wanted to meet Lenny Kravitz's drummer. <laughs> wow, so you're a teenage mutant ninja turtle with that haircut. Hey, where's Shredder when you need him? At least I have hair. Hey, Aquaman, come here a second. How you doing? Good. What kind of fish do you talk to, Pepperidge Farm? <laughs> <laughs> You're the only Aquaman that wets himself. <laughs> no, Aquaman. No, no, no. Don't pee on me, Aquaman. <laughs> All right, well, that's it from the pumpkin batch. <laughs> Can we get that cop back here? <laughs>